The playoffs have started. It's time for great performances, jubilant celebrations, and 18 still in the quest for the Kelly Cup. The postseason continues. Time to score and watch ECHL Week. Welcome to another edition of ECHL Week. Coming to you this time from the Glens Falls Civic Center in Glens Falls, New York, home of the Adirondack Thunder, making its first appearance in the Kelly Cup Playoffs. The conference quarterfinal round of the Kelly Cup Playoffs is over. Let's check out highlights in the East. In Game 6 of the Wheeling vs. Florida showdown, the story was Nailers goaltender Brian Foster. The veteran netminder was outstanding against the Everblades. He won all three of his starts against fourth-seeded Florida in the series, but he was at his best in Game 6 as we see here. Although Mike Cornell got one by him late in the first period, he hung tough and bought enough time for his teammates to respond. Tyloni's third goal of the postseason tied the game late in the second period. Then captain Shane Baker notched the game winner midway through period three. But Foster was the story. He finished with 43 saves and played with confidence the entire way. The Nailers won the series four games to two and advanced to the conference semifinals. Now, highlights from the other Eastern quarterfinal series. In behind the Toledo net, comes in front of shot, they score. Kevin Gumas. Top corner, and Redding has a 1-0 lead. And a setup in front, they score. Right up the ice, Kaczynski buries it, and it's 2-0 Royals. Oh, Schmitz. After it there, came free to Peterson. Set it in front, they score. Gumis on the deflection in front. Down to the corner, and back to Tyson Spink again. Up to the line, Cato wants the shot, he scores! Tifu is on it for Redding. Backhanded it in front and a shot that went off the post. Rebound, they score. Kevin Gumas, the big hero tonight for Redding as he scores a hat trick to propel the Royals into the next round, the 2016 Kelly Cup playoffs. Jumps in, now Gillies will hold it in, feeds it to VJ. Out front, wide open is Nick Jones. He wants it in, shoots, and he scores! Nick Jones from the right side gives the Stingrays the lead. Left side, settled down by Deblois. Time of the faint stops are going front. Devin tips it, he scores! Mr. Playoffs himself, Joe Devin on the redirection. All of a sudden, it's 2 nothing Stingrays. Max so hard of a shot, he knocked the stick out of his hands. In the corner, his teammates trying to get it out front to him. They will. He'll recover it. But the blue line, Ponich has it, winds and fires and scores. With the confusion in front, Vanacek gets his stick back. But Brett Ponich's shot from the left point beats Vanacek blocker's side. They're 200 feet away. Kalamazoo wins from the net. Here's Fighton coming in front. He shoots and scores! There's the dagger! Austin Fighton with 4.53 to play. The two teams meet at center ice and go down the line and... Shake hands, say good series. Puck is loose, Hurd on it in the corner, tied up by Sobe in the left wing corner. Hurd's pass out in front to McCarthy, shoots and scores. Drops it off for Hurd, left wing side. Now down low to Lomberg, his pass in the slot. Shot, score by Constant as he let it go. From the right side in the slot. 8.33 to go in the second period. Adirondack wins the draw. Constance drive, knocked down by the glove of Carr, but picked up and backhanded in the net by Frazier to make it 3 0 Thunder. As Carr could not control it, he knocked it down with the glove, but Frazier was right there to backhand it home. Hi, this is Riley Wesolowski of the Cincinnati Cyclones, and you're watching ECHL Week. Time now for a look at news from around the ECHL. The Wichita Thunder will not renew the contract of head coach Kevin McClelland. 
This has been such a tough decision, said Thunder owner Rodney Stephen II. We felt that it was best for the organization to move in a new direction for next season. McClelland came to the Thunder in 2010 and guided the club for six years, the last two of which were in the ECHL. In the team's pair of seasons in the league, his record was 50, 72, 9, and 13. The ECHL had 40 former players and 15 coaches on 15 of the teams competing in this season's Stanley Cup playoffs. It's the 11th straight year in which at least 30 former ECHL players have taken part in the NHL's postseason. A look at the Western Conference quarterfinal round survivors when ECHL Week continues. They'll test you, try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm, just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. People think I'm driven. Hopefully they look at me and they see hard work and determination. But if they'd look closer, they'd see something more. Every time I fly down the ice, with every single shot I take, and with every roar of the crowd, they'd realize there's nothing I love more than playing hockey. I'm Sidney Crosby, and I'm made of hockey. This is Joel Schwinnard of the Toledo Walleye. You can tweet me at 27Chewy. The most difficult thing of being the wife of a coach in hockey is um, knowing that you did not sign up to do a lot of this stuff on your own. Um, you are not a single parent. You are not a single 20-something trying to have a great time and go out with your friends. Uh, but sometimes you have to be, and you have to resign to the fact that a lot of the daily things that go on in a household or as a parent kind of fall on your shoulders, and you will be doing a lot of it on your own. And it's it's not bad. I, I you know I love what we do, and I love our life. Uh, but it, it comes with its challenges all on its own. Time to take a look at what the Western Conference teams are doing in the playoffs. From the far quarter, Bersort sent it up the boards. Owens at the point kept in. Rahagi wheels at the far point. Out to the far half boards. Carzo shot hit traffic in front. In the high slot, Deacon throws it back. Owens at center point. He fires and scores. And Alaski out from back of his own net into the near circle. Slides it up the wing to CJ Ludwig in center. Cross side to Rahagi crossing the line. He fired off the goal post. Rebound, score! Behind the goal, Carzo backhands up the far side. Coldwell at the point kept in. Torsion Bow beside the net. Center pass, Warning, score! Sam Warning makes it 3 to 1, Maverick. Oza, loose on the mallard line. He coasts, throws up, forces it just in for Haggy. Far circle draws. Off the music goes shoulder into the crease for Haggy. Scores! Leading the charge for the Mavericks. Carter Verhaggy and Rocco Carzo both with one goal and two assists tonight. Josh Robinson took a shadow bit into the third period before Sam Morning finally ended that by scoring what proved to be the only Mallard goal. Rebound comes free and they score on the rebound. Obviously the rebound is Maurice mentioned poked in by Reddick. And away they come to center. Here's Costello coming back into the zone. Costello in, trying to work it across. They get it back. Costello scores! it in the net! Chad Costello! King tapped it off the boards. Now loose puck came in front. They score! And the Steelheads have regained the lead. Comes outside of Mikowski. They'll work it along to Hansen. Hansen into the corner. Sends it back out. Mikowski shot. He scores! And it comes to Pinkston for a shot. He ripped it up over the top of the net. Now King turns. He scores! Tristan King puts it in the net. Tristan King in overtime!
back into the zone. He's there. He looks. He throws wide. Left side. Shot. Comets wide. Short. Short. Comets. Who got it? Chasma. Schaffer gets the yeah, first yeah. goal of the night. Back up the middle. Into the zone. We come going wide left. Thomas. Good shot. Rebound. Oh, up the post. It was on the post yeah. and didn't go in. Down in the corner it goes. Chased down by Crowder. Behind the net. Right up front. And hanging on. Sees it. Still a score. score. There we are. Oh, it's Steph yeah, again Steph with the rebound. Again. Yeah, there we go. go. Good game, guys. Wall. Game is over. Comets win. They eliminate Cincinnati in round one. A shutout for Pat Miggle. How about that? Fire, fires, save, rebound, grab, shot, score! Mardo reverse it back to the trapezoid up the near side wall, stolen away, centering effort, knocked around, deflects off Mardo and into the back of the Nats. Again, still time left in the first period. Canton a drive, scores! Here comes Krushelniski with speed, plays it left wing boards, Barry across, shot back door, scores! That's a beautiful play as Canton finds Krushelniski. Left wing side cutting in, Moore over, scores! And now the handshake line between the two clubs commencing and again I think at this point you know you salute uh, a, a great performance from the Utah Grizzlies in this series. That wraps up another edition of ECHL Week from the Glens Falls Civic Center in Glens Falls, New York. Thanks for watching. We leave you today by taking a look at one of the great shots of the season. It was worth $100,000 and it took place in Orlando, Florida. In addition to watching the home team score an overtime goal as time expired in the Orlando Solar Bears final game of the season at the Amway Center, more than 8,200 people in attendance will also remember the efforts of Nick Giovanelli of St. Cloud, Florida, who made this shot and earned $100,000 in a between periods promotion. That's a pretty good way to end the season.